Hi, this is Sean for Howdini. Today we're going to talk about how 3D television works. To find out, we went to Los Angeles to talk to this man. My name is Perry Hoberman. He teaches at the School of Cinematic Arts at USC. And he's an expert in immersive technologies like 3D and virtual reality. We asked him all about how 3D works. The first thing we learned is movies and TV look 3D because they're shot with two lenses. Cameras kind of substitute for your eyes, right? If you just think of two cameras or two lenses where your eyes are, each taking a picture, one is seeing the image slightly from the left, one from the right. Then if you present those images, one to the left eye, one to the right eye, your brain fuses them together to create the impression of three-dimensional shapes and surfaces. Now the hard part is to show these two separate images to an audience. There's two basic ways to do this. The first is called stereoscopic. It's a side-by-side -side configuration. So it's one image and then another image. Okay. And this eye looks at this image, this eye looks at this image. You've got a 3D image. One tiny little problem. The problem with side-by-side -side is it's for, single, it's for a single viewer. Not ideal for a movie theater. Next option, overlap the images. When you overlap the images, you basically project them on top of each other. And now the problem is we have to figure out some way that we can screen out this image for the left eye and screen out this image for the right eye. This is where the glasses come in. They filter the images to only show one image to each eye. In the 50s and 60s, movie theaters used two projectors to overlap the images, and this caused a few problems. The problem within the 1950s was they used two projectors that were interlocked so they were supposed to go together. But film is a fragile medium, and if the projectors got one frame out of sync... These out of sync images would not fuse together in your brain the right way. Then along comes digital. But digital cinema is, in fact, I think the thing that made 3D turned it into a process that was re repeatable and dependable, and you could really show films in a way that there weren't going to be those kinds of problems. The in. digital image is consistent and reliable, and each image is filtered in a special way. Switching the polarization of the light so that the left image comes out polarized one way, the right image then and follows polarized the other way. You wear the glasses with two different kinds of lenses to match the polarization of each image. One image for the left eye, one image for the right eye, and voila, you can now watch a 3D movie at home just like you do in a movie theater. Thanks to Professor Perry Hoberman for talking to us. We made a video about 3D glasses. You can watch it here. And for more tips and information or to see the rest of our interviews, please check out the website.